Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I'm celebrating reaching 700 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support, for your wonderful comments and for subscribing. And whenever I reach a landmark subscription rate like this, I always like to do an indulgent video. So today I'm going back to the world of fighting fantasy game books, which I've loved ever since I was 10 years old when I bought Warlock of Firetop Mountain. And one of the things I really loved about these books was the incredible artwork. There's some brilliant black and white illustrations throughout the books, and I'll be doing a video about those later. But today I want to concentrate on the cover art. And I think some of these covers, they're so brilliant. They're amongst the best fantasy art out there, so I want to celebrate them. And I'm going to pick my top 10 favourites. I could have picked loads. My short list was about 20, 25 books long. But I've just picked 10. These are covers that are really memorable for me. So at number 10 is Legend of the Shadow Warriors, one of the later books, and it was done by Terry Oakes. He did quite a lot of covers for the later editions in the Fighting Fantasy series. I really like this one. It's set at night. There's a hint of sleet rain. And it's this field of scarecrows with pumpkin heads. And the lead scarecrow has got a slasher knife hanging out of his hand. It's a really eerie, atmospheric cover. And there's a there's a flavour of ninja about it. I don't know why. I just really like it. I think it's a really striking, scary, atmospheric cover. At number nine is Crypt of the Sorcerer by the legend that is Les Edwards. Good old Les. And this has got this kind of bold, skeletal ghoul wandering around his crypt. And he's got this piece of furniture behind him. I don't know what it is, a sarcophagus or something. And out of it are some little heads sort of doing a dance. That's a nice feature to have in your crypt, isn't it? Good bit of furniture, that. It's a very atmospheric, beautiful... He's a very good artist, Les Edwards, and this is a, an excellent example of his work. I really like this cover. And number eight is Masks of Mayhem. More than any other cover in the range, this one sort of leaps out the page at you, isn't it? It's kind of like halfway between Tolkien and MC Hammer. You know, it's hammer time. It's this kind of stone golem who's running at you. You know, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger sort of thing. Fitness video. I really love this cover. It's so action-y. The, the problem is that the book it's in front of is a bit crap, actually. It's one of my least favourite books in the entire range. But I love the cover. I think it's hilarious. Seventh place. Now, I love Chris Achilleos. He was a major artist for the Doctor Who target range. I love his paintings for the Doctor Who target range. He did a couple for Fighting Fantasy. This is his second one, um, Temple of Terror. I don't know why I love this image so much. I think one of the things I like about it is the stillness of it. In this sort of lost desert city, the sands of time, and this quiet serpent slithers out to meet you in this doorway. It's just a very iconic image. Of all the covers in the range, this is the one that stays with me the most. It's not particularly action-packed or anything. There's just something about it, a kind of a weird atmosphere that I really like. Sixth place. Now we reach Martin McKenna, who's done some excellent work in the later books. And I'm going to pick Curse of the Mummy, which was the last official title in the original run of books. Um, I love this. What a fantastic monster this is. This wizened old mummy with this beautiful golden headpiece. And I love the two sort of totemic statues behind him in the night sky. What I also love about this is look at the sarcophagus in the background. If you look very closely, it's the same sarcophagus as in the Doctor Who story Pyramids of Mars with Tom Baker. A little homage there by Martin McKenna, which makes me love this cover all the more. In fifth place, we're back to good old Les Edwards again. Now, this is a rare case where I've picked um, a reprint cover, not one of the original covers from Puffin, but from Wizard Books. Uh, Les Edwards did the recover for Creature of Havoc, and I think this is a particularly brilliant cover. The Ian Miller cover for the original book was the one, one flaw in that book. I don't know why Ian Miller concentrated on that scene. It didn't work with the flavour of the book or the tone of the book. Whereas Les Edwards, he gets to the hub of the story, which is that you are a monster. And what a monster. This kind of white shaggy beast with white eyeballs and a ravenous mouth. Fantastic image. I really like this. I think Edwards captures the spirit of the book much more than Ian Miller did, I'm afraid. Fourth place. And what have I gone for there? I've gone for Blood Bones, another classic Martin McKenna image. I love this image. You know, it's like John Carpenter's The Fog. Here's this 
old zombie pirate carrying a skull with glowing eyes coming out of a green fog. I mean, this is what fighting fantasy is all about. I think this is an absolutely stunning image. I love the use of green throughout the painting. I think it's beautifully done. A really great image from Martin McKenna. In third place, we go back to one of the iconic early covers of the books. City of Thieves by Ian McCaig, who I think also did the interior illustrations. I think this is just a fantastic image. There you've got this, you've got Zan Barbone, who looks like death with his sickle, you know, and he's sort of lightly fingering it, and, you know, sort of gleefully almost. And in the background, rent through this kind of curtain, is this image of uh, Port Blacksand, a wonderful fantasy city with heads on stakes in front of it. My actual favourite image of a city that ever came out of this series was John Blanche's artwork for Car Ray City Port of Traps. He did um, a painting of the city of Car Ray, which is rather wonderful. It doesn't appear in the book. I don't know where it did appear, um, but it's really great. And you can find it in um, Jonathan Green's history of uh, Fighting Fantasy, You Are the Hero, which actually features all of the covers of every single book. So look out for that. But I think City of Thieves is such an iconic image. And of all the early covers, they're all great. You know, like Forest of Doom is great. Island of the Lizard King is great. But that one really stays with me for some reason. In second place, again, I go back to Martin McKenna and a more recent book, Curse of the Weir... Howl of the Werewolf, sorry. Howl of the Werewolf. Now, imagine what a werewolf looks like. Now look at Martin McKenna's illustration. And it's right there. A great big full moon, and in front of it, this great big powerful howling wolf man. Absolutely terrific image, just iconic, everything you want. I mean, just does the, just does the job, nothing more to say. So what's my favourite? Number one, you know it was gonna, what it was going to be, didn't you? You knew it. House of Hell by Ian Miller. I absolutely love this book. And I think the cover is perfect. In the background, you've got the best kind of haunted house, a house that you'd find off the road, you know, in the sort of backwoods of America or the backwoods of England. And then in front of it, all the trees and all the undergrowth are sort of forming into monsters, dissolving into Lovecraftian corruption. Absolutely right for this book and absolutely right for its flavour. When Wizard did a reprint, they did another cover, which is quite shocking, actually. It shows how horrible these books can be, even though they're supposedly designed for sort of 10 to 13-year-olds. But it's got this guy transforming into a monster, which is quite a shocking and brilliantly painted image. But it doesn't really go with the flavour of the book, I think. I think Ian Miller really captures the horror flavour of this book, and I think it's an extraordinary, exquisite image. So those are my favourites. As I say, there were so many I could have picked. Forest of Doom, Island of the Lizard King, Talisman of Death. Uh, what else did I pick? Seas of Blood, Robot Commando, uh, Way of the Samurai, is it? Um, Nightmare Castle. There were so many. Stealer of Souls, that's another great one. Um, Dead of Night. There's so many great covers, but those are my particular favourites. Let me know in the comments below what are your favourites. And thanks very much for watching.